Good morning. Let's come together in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Mass today, let us first call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with God, our Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. And Mass is offered for Lawrence Bobet. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the revered intercession of St. Hedwig may bring us heavenly aid, just as her wonderful life is an example of humility for all. And pour out on us, we pray, the spirit with which you remarkably endowed St. Margaret Mary, so that we may come to know that love of Christ which surpasses all understanding and be utterly filled with your fullness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the, law, of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not enter, will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If you live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Those who follow you, Lord, will have light of life. Those who follow you, you Lord, Lord, will have, have light the light of life. of life. Bless the person who follows not at the, con the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who, who follow, follow you, Lord, Lord, will have the light of life. The one who is, that one is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in the season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever that one does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the, of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you Pharisees, you pay tithes of mint 
and rue of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to the judgment and to love of God. Though these you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Paul continues his uh, kind of berating the Galatians about their adherence to, to old laws and, and, and how it's not so much a matter of following every tenet of the law, it's a matter of living the law in your heart, being guided by the Spirit. He says, if we live in the Spirit, let's follow the Spirit, living in the Spirit. It reminds me of uh, Augustine's old line that if we... Uh, have it in our heart to please God, then do as you please. In other words, if you have it in your heart to please God, nothing you're going to do is going to be against God. Live in the Spirit. What's the fruits of the Spirit? I, I love that beautiful list. Patience, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. You know, in his uh, apostolic exhortation, uh, Rejoice and Be Glad, Pope Francis uh, talks about the fruits of the Spirit and says we need to choose every day to live in the Spirit, to follow and allow these fruits to grow in us. It's the essence of holiness. And he says holiness begins with little things. And he gives examples of a, of a woman who goes to the grocery store and runs into a neighbor who begins to gossip and And she says to herself, I'm not going to say anything bad about anyone. She goes home, and and her kid needs attention and care. She's tired, but she listens to him in kindness and supports him. She uh, goes outside and meets somebody in need and, and gives her time and attention to her. Those little things, the Pope says, lead to holiness. Let's think today, it's not always the big decisions we have to make in life. Sometimes it's the little ones that can lead us to deep holiness. Doing so, let's allow us to be led by the Spirit and let those fruits of the Spirit be seen in our world. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Let's stand to pray. In gratitude to the living God, we bring these prayers. For those who protect our safety and support our health, may they be granted protection and wisdom. We pray to the Lord. For those who have witnessed and felt violence, may their spirits find healing from the evil they have seen. We pray to the Lord. For young people throughout the world, may they not become trapped in systems of oppression and destruction. We pray to the Lord. For adult children and their families, may they find new balance and responsibility as their lives become more interdependent. We pray to the Lord. For the sick and suffering in mind, body, and spirit, May they be filled with the blessings of the Lord and find more peace, we pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers, we pause now to bring to God in silence. We pray to the Lord. Merciful God, you summon us all to live justly, uplifting the poor and protecting the needy. Hear our prayers this day as we offer them through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the bread. We offer you which earth has given and human hands have made. It has become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly it is right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross he brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him he has become the source of eternal salvation. So with the angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself <clears throat> so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice will be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same spirit, graciously make holy the gifts we brought to you for consecration that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Trusting in God's love for us, no. let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by his body and blood and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Thomas More, St. Margaret Mary, St. Hedwig, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. 
May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, strengthen in faith and, 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 and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to all of our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Trusting in the love of God, we dare to now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sinfulness, but on the faith of your church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let's offer a sign of peace to each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. only say the word.
when the Lord appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment that comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.